In America, everyone counts, and the 2020 census is how that great promise is kept. Respond today online, by phone, or by mail, and help inform hundreds of billions in funding for education, health programs, and more. Shape your future. Start at 2020census.gov. Uh, there's been all different types of fallout. Uh, people are responding in different ways. Here is uh, Democratic nominee Joe Biden. What I saw in that video makes me sick. Once again, a black man, Jacob Blake, has been shot by the police in broad daylight with the whole world watching. You know, I spoke to Jacob's mom and dad, sister, and other members of the family just a little bit earlier. And I told them justice must and will be done. You know, our hearts are with his family, especially his children. It's horrible what they saw. Watching their father get shot. Like Gianna Floyd, they're asking why. Why daddy? Put yourself in the shoes of every black father and black mother in this country and ask, is this what we want America to be? Is this the country we should be? You know, as I said after George Floyd's murder, protesting brutality is a right and absolutely necessary. But burning down communities is not protest. It's needless violence, violence that endangers lives, violence that guts businesses and shutters businesses that serve the community. That's wrong. In the midst of this pain, the wisest words that I've heard spoken so far have come from Julia Jackson, Jacob's mother. She looked at the damage done in her community and she said this, quote, this doesn't reflect my son or my family. So let's unite and heal, do justice, end the violence, and end systemic racism in this country now. I would run a statement from uh, Donald Trump, but he hasn't actually released one. All right, folks, back to our Roadblock Unfiltered video in just one moment. As our community comes together to support the fight against racial injustice, I want to take a second to talk about one thing we can do to ensure our voices are heard. Not tomorrow, but now. Have your voices heard in terms of what kind of future we want by taking the 2020 census today at 2020census.gov? Now, folks, let me help you out. The census is a count of everyone living in the country. It happens once every 10 years. It is mandated by the U.S. Constitution. The thing that's important is that the census informs funding, billions of dollars, how they are spent in our communities every single year. I grew up in Clinton Park in Houston, Texas, and we wanted, to, we wanted new parks and roads and a senior citizen center. Well, the census helps inform all of that and where funding goes. It also determines how many seats your state will get in the U.S. House of Representatives. Young black men and young children of color are historically undercounted, which means a potential loss of funding for services that helps our community. Folks, we have the power to change that. We have the power to help determine where hundreds of billions in federal funding go each year for the next 10 years. Funding that can impact our community, our neighborhoods, and our families and friends. Folks, responses are 100% confidential and can't be shared with your landlord, law enforcement, or any government agency. So please, Take the 2020 census today. Shape your future. Start at 2020census.gov.